Dude, this is so much better than the H ever was. Today, we're unboxing the new version of the Einscan H, the H2. The biggest deal with this scanner is it's the best one for scanning people and organic shapes and objects that might move slightly. The algorithms are designed for it and full color. They finally upgraded the color cameras, so now we get some really nice color textures on your 3D scan. So if you're in special effects or video games or just printing miniatures of people, this is definitely the scanner you're gonna wanna buy. So let's get right into it. There we go. One of the things I like the most about the new H2 is that it comes in the Pelican case, just like the HX and the FreeScan. So let's just check out the box. This is gonna be really simple. It's like every other Shining 3D scanner. On the top, you've got your license for Solid Edge Shining 3D Edition as well as the quick start guide. Inside, very simple. We've always got our power adapter here and the power cable for the power adapter, as well as an entire thing of markers. These are the sticky markers. They're adhesive backed and you can put them all over your objects. We also have marker pyramids and magnetic markers available separately. But you get about 3000 markers in the box here. This little USB thumb drive is gonna have the solid edge software on it. This is the data transfer cable, just like the HX and FreeScan. So it's got two ends, this really nice barrel connector here, as well as the USB. And then on the other end, you've got the USB 3.0 plug, along with the power adapter where that power adapter actually plugs in. So just like all the other scanners, you get about a full meter of cable so you can go around half a car they included clips shining 3d clips to keep your scanner cables organized and stable and then of course you've got the scanner itself so as you can see very similar to the original h beautiful similar white pearlescent body the only real difference being that h2 logo on there still got the different reflective things. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. You got a little bit different color of plastic on the H2. Backs look exactly the same. So they're literally using the same injection mold for both of these scanners. So it's literally the same. I believe the weight is the same, maybe off by a few grams. What the? What was that? So the real difference with this unit is the improved color texture, five megapixels compared to 1.3 megapixels. And you've also got three V-cell infrared projectors. So you get the infrared light, which is much better for dark colors like hair and things like that. And it doesn't need markers to scan. You can use markers, but this primarily uses the color texture and the geometry to do the tracking. They also improved the accuracy of this scanner down to 0.05 millimeters, as well as a slightly higher point distance resolution, which is how far apart the points are, down to 0.2 millimeters, down from 0.25. So that's a nice little improvement. It's got a huge field of view too, of uh, 780 by 900 millimeters. So that's like, I mean, we're talking like this big, and that's a big deal when it comes to scanning things quickly. Like you wanna capture as much as possible at once. So with this new huge field of view, that's gonna be a lot easier. And on top of that, cause so many of you are asking, it is supposed to be much better with regular objects now too. So for the most budget scanner of the professional line, this thing should do a little bit better on basic object scanning compared to the original H. Why would you buy the H2 over the other line of scanners? Number one thing is really gonna be that color texture. If you need color or you're scanning stuff for video games or digital archival or maybe augmented reality or even virtual reality, then the color capture of this scanner is significantly better than all of the other ones. When it comes to the types of applications this is really intended for, it comes down to models, toys, furniture is a big one, people, prosthetics, you can digitize anything for video games or special effects and things like that. All right, so next is where do you buy this scanner? Visionminer.com slash scanners. We've got these in stock and ready to ship, but call us first because we want to make sure you're selling you the right scanner. We really take pre-qualification 
seriously here. I don't want to sell you something that is not good enough for your application. It's kind of complicated, but we're here to consult you and find out what, what are you really trying to do? How's this going to affect your business? How's it going to save you time and money and help you pick the right one? With that in mind, we're now going to do a little practical demonstration and scan an actual person. This is Mike Tomaselli from Tomaselli Academy in Santa Ana, California. And thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Anytime. So we're going to immortalize him today. And uh, we're gonna do that using the infrared mode on the H2. So I'm just gonna select infrared mode. And then this gives you the option. I'm gonna call this Jiu-Jitsu Man IR Scan 1. I'll overwrite that last one and go portrait mode. Now we're gonna use hybrid alignment, which is gonna use the features, the geometry of him, as well as the texture of the clothing and the skin and everything else to maintain tracking. It's gonna start at one millimeter resolution, which is plenty for most applications. And here we are, we got our working distance and our brightness set up and the data quality indicator. So I'm just gonna show you how fast it picks up texture and everything. And then I'm gonna switch over, I'm gonna pause and do the data quality indicator so I can make sure I'm getting a quality scan and then we'll be done. Let's see how fast this will go. Now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go from his face, do the chest, do the back, do the arms, do the back of the arms, do the legs and end at the feet so that we're in one smooth motion. We don't get duplicate data everywhere. Preview, start at the top of the head. And then Mike's gonna stay perfectly still. I'm gonna pause and then I'm gonna turn on the data quality indicator so that I can see how good my data is while I scan. Tracking gets right back there, gotta love that. Looks like I missed the back of his head, so let's get more of that real quick. All right, and we pause. Got good data throughout 90% of the body. It's capturing high resolution color. Now it's funny because you can see on the beard over here, didn't get as much data. I think we'll be fine with this one to still print a miniature. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna come down and just delete the, the ground right here because we don't need that. Now, you know, on most things, we'll flip the object over to get the bottom side, but can't really do that with a person so easily, so. He is a specialist in flips, but mostly flipping other people. Okay, and we can just delete that and apply. All right, now, as you can see, whenever we're processing point data, the CPU is maxed out and it's using a lot more memory. The GPU isn't so much important at this stage. So if you are capturing data on one PC and then doing the post-processing on another, like meshing and everything with a better graphics card, that's definitely an option. But for this process, you wanna have the best CPU you possibly can because that's what's gonna save you a lot of time. And the infrared mode especially captures so much data. It has a lot to go through and process. So the infrared usually takes a little bit longer than the other modes, but that was quick. Here we go. It looks like we got some little danglers, some dingleberries over there. And the rest of those should just get deleted in the post-processing. Like these little things on his arm and whatnot, those are considered small hanging parts, which uh, floating parts, which shouldn't matter. So apply that. Now this is the preview, so it's not, this isn't the final product, but we can check and see, make sure we don't have any big gaps or holes or anything. And we're actually gonna do this one in watertight so that we can 3D print it. So I just go to mesh model, go all the way to watertight and no filter, low filter simplification, remove spikes, this will be fine. I'll hit apply and this will just crank for a minute. So, wow, yeah, you were, yep, you can see the that sweat. <laughs> That's legitimate, that was, he was sweating on the brow. That is cool. Okay, looks pretty good. It filled in some spots in here, so he could have spent more time getting into the neck area, as well as the chest, all right. Dude, this is so much better than the H ever was, absolutely. But it even got, oh my gosh, it got the texture of the paracord on the sandals. This is night and day. Guys, this is way better 
This is so good. All right, I'm impressed. I like it. Guys, did you see the Mass Fit video with the huge printer? If you didn't, go check it out now. But if you did, you think we should print this or somebody else in the office? Let me know in the comments below who you want us to scan and print full size. It's going to be super cool. All right, so if you're looking at scanners and this does what you needed to do, then great. But we've got a whole line of scanners like the free scan combo right here, 26 laser lines, metrology, great for inspection of machine shop parts depending what you're doing scanning they're not one size fits all so give us a call shoot us an email we're here to help you figure out which one is actually right for your business and your application so reach out give us a call shoot us an email but that's it for now thank you so much for watching mike thanks for showing up anytime have a positive rest of your day we'll see you on the next video see you.